They fill the void between earth and sky. They inhabit our pavements, our parks, and our forests. Their longevity, their appearance, and their memories are unequaled. They are our remarkable trees. In Luxe, in the Somme region, these two triple centenarian lime trees have intertwined over time to become as one and they have even played a part in village history. For the past 300 years, they have shaped the future of married couples. The tradition was that on their wedding day, the couple would run a little race. They left the church after the service, and when the starter said go, they had to run to this tree. And tradition had it that the first to pass between the trunks would wear the trousers in the household. We don't know whether a husband let his wife win if he was chivalrous, or whether he tripped her up before she reached the tree. These remarkable trees fill our imagination and even calm the spirit. Laurence Mons has been practicing tree therapy for years, the art of communicating with plants and there's nothing better than a remarkable oak. OK, try to feel what's happening beneath your feet. To get to know the tree, the participants walk with their eyes closed and backwards. A little to the left, keep your eyes shut, and once you feel ready, open them. You'll feel the life inside the tree. Already at a distance of 15 to 20 meters, I started to feel a tingling in my hands as they picked up the energy inside. Tingling? Yes, tingling. And the more you do it, the more you feel over time. The first few times you think it's a weird feeling, but then it becomes natural to you. All of our nerves are connected to the tree. So relax your shoulders and try some deep breathing too. Sometimes the tree might be twisted, and someone will say to me, this tree is a perfect fit for me, because this is how I feel. So a kind of connection is established, and the twisted tree can begin to heal them. Twisted or tortured, trees continue to live. Like this Japanese Sephora, whose incredible spread arouses wonder and curiosity in observers. It stands in the Seine-et-Marne, east of Paris, in the grounds of a school for teenagers with learning difficulties. The students regularly draw the tree. There's a part of it near the top where you stop seeing the branches. There's just greenery, OK? Go up to here. In your drawing, you can put branches up to here, not right to the top. Is there some green as well? Yeah, a bit of green. Can you see any other colours? No. So try to mix in some more colours. To understand this very singular outline, we need to quickly rewind. To 1930, when the 25-meter-tall tree was brought down in a storm. It could have died, but other branches grew to form a new trunk. Since then, the tree has been protected, to the delight of the students, who see it as a symbol of their own rebuilding process. We know it was struck by lightning and it fell, and then they tried to cut it up, but despite that, it rose from its ashes. That gives us the strength to rise from our own ashes. 
We came to the special needs school because we were in difficulty, and it's given us the chance to find a new path in life. When I open the curtains in the morning, it's the first thing I see. You can't pass it without noticing it. It has a real presence. It means a lot to us. It's a real source of inspiration. Awareness is on the rise. In April 2019, the Declaration of the Rights of Trees was signed in the French Parliament, giving trees living being status, a cultural revolution. And what if tomorrow, trees were no longer thought of as materials, but as genuine makers of history?